Um, so, yeah. Happy New Year's to everybody who's watching. I'm sure you'll be watching this in probably uh, July by the time I finish with this, but... <laughs> Hey hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we've got kind of an interesting video. It's not what I normally do but hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun for you watching. Now I've been making a lot of these blog type videos lately like my mukbang videos and a few um, looks around my uni accommodation and I really enjoy doing these blog type videos so I wanted to do something else but kind of related to the channel. So those of you who don't know, this is kind of a car slash simulation channel. We look at racing games and vehicle simulation games. So I wanted to kind of stick around that theme. And I got something very special for Christmas this year. And here it is. This is the Lego Mini Cooper Creator set. And as you can already see, it is a classic Mini. Um, I've got this top camera going on up here, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm building. We're going to be building this Lego Mini, and I have the camera over there that's looking at my face, so I can sort of alternate between the two. If you see my mukbang videos, then you can know the layout. So, yes, um, we're going to be building this Lego Mini right here, and why is this so special? Well, first of all, it's Lego. Everybody likes Lego. If you don't like Lego, you're lying to yourself. Um, but it is actually my real car in real life. If you are new to the channel or you don't know, I actually have a classic Mini in real life and it looks like this. It has the white roof, it is British Racing Green and it has the white stripes. So it's pretty cool. I have basically my real life car in Lego form and I thought it'd be kind of fun to build it up as a video. I got it for Christmas, this set and I wanted to make it for a video, so hopefully you will all enjoy watching it. So the first thing to do is just go ahead and open the box and just let's just get everything out. So there we go, there is a lot of pieces in this Lego set. You can see it's gonna be pretty large. We've got a lot of bits to put together. Um, it is a 1072 piece Lego set and it is Lego Creator. It, the difficulty for it is hard uh, or advanced so um, if you're thinking of picking up this set for yourself be warned it is not one of the easiest Lego sets you can do but it is going to be a lot of fun. But before we continue I did want to just show you all this because it is kind of interesting. You can see on the back of the box here I don't know how well this is going to show, but you can actually open the doors and stuff. So you can see you can open the door right here, the boot area here actually opens, you can see that in this picture, and then in this one here you can lift up the spare wheel, the bonnet opens, you can open up all the doors, you can see like all the doors here, and you can actually lift the roof off. So this whole roof section here, this white piece, just lifts off which is really cool so you can actually get inside and the seats and everything fold forwards and the wheels turn so it's pretty cool that it's that realistic and I thought it'd be kind of fun just to build this thing up. So let's just go ahead and open up the instructions because I am going to need the instructions and we can see what um, bag we need to attack first. Okay, so in this plastic here um, we also, so we have the instruction books, we have instruction book number one, so you can see there's a little number one down here, and we have instruction book number two, so you can see there's like a little two down here, you can't really see that very well, but if I hold it up to the camera you can see it has one and two up there, but we also have all the stickers in here. And something that I thought was quite amusing is you can actually choose which license plate you want. So obviously the top one is British number plates, but you can have French, you can have 
Um, oh, you can have German or Denmark are the options, and then you also have the options of American license plates. I'm going to go for British because obviously my car is British and I am British, so um, I'm going to go for the British ones, but it is cool that you get an option to choose that. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have the Mini Cooper stickers. Um, the glare from the light is not great, but that is like the Mini Cooper stickers. Um, that you put on the side and the front of the vehicle. So that's really cool. Unsurprisingly, we need to open bag number one first. So I need to find bag number one and then we're going to be building up the chassis. So I'm going to have the instruction manual probably over here. So you can just sort of see it. I'm going to be building here. Now it's not just going to be me building Lego. I am going to talk to you about things, I haven't decided what those things are yet, um, and it is not going to be me completely building the whole thing, I'm going to cut out parts where I'm not talking, obviously, so it is not too boring for you, but there we go, that is already the first page done, this little thing that we're building here, um, I'm struggling to find this little piece, this is not going to be very easy, I thought eating and talking was difficult, Talking and building Lego apparently is going to be even more difficult. Um, okay, I have found the two pieces I need. Got one here and the other one in my hand there. Um, they were hiding from me. I don't know why. But I couldn't find them. I ended up having to open bag three to try and find them, so... Yeah, kind of interesting. Now we need a little four piece. There we go. I'm not going to show you every brick that I put on here, but in the initial stages of starting, we want to we want to show you as much as possible. That is the license plate on there. That is my license plate. I don't know if this is actually a real mini. Someone could google this and find out if that is a real mini number plate. I assume it probably is, um, but that's kind of interesting. So now we've made this piece, we can just sort of move that off to the side and then we move on to this page where we start something different. So we have a black piece like this. Um, how many holes has this got? So that is the right piece, it is 11 holes. There we go. We'll just open up there. Some more little bits in there. I'm trying to leave any little bags of pieces like this until I need them, I'm leaving them closed because it's easier to find a big bag if it drops off the table than one little piece. So these black pieces now clip on here. Like that. And now we have some of these little stud pieces. So like this. These special little diamond pieces. And they go through the center hole. But yeah, I want to know, what is your favourite kind of Lego? Are you a creator kind of person? Are you a Lego, Lego Technicano person? Or Technic? I don't know what it's actually called. Um, but like the really difficult one, are you someone who likes to build those? I've only ever built one of those in my life. And it was like a remote control truck thing with a crane on and that was very difficult to build that took me several days to build hopefully this won't take as long um, or are you just someone who likes to create their own things are you just a free uh, like a free ball lego creator do you like to just build things out of your imagination personally I like doing that as well um, but when it's a cool thing like this mini, when it's something um, quite difficult, obviously it is best to follow the instructions. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys 
what kind of Legos do you like to build? And if you're someone who doesn't build Legos, why the hell not? Okay, I've turned the light on. Hopefully that's going to show what I'm doing here a little bit better. Um, and also I can see a little bit better because it is starting to go a bit dark. But we finished this part. I can't remember what I was talking about before. But we're going to move on to the next part, which is page 9 here. We're going to be starting building something brand new over here. So we need uh, one of these little pieces and another one of those little two bricks that I struggled to find before. So there it is right there. Took me a bit less time to find it this time. And it looks like now we're going to be building up the back part of the car because I can see some red lights. Tail lights are obviously red. So yeah, I think we're going to be building up the back of the car now. Um, we need some of these little pieces that I can't find. There's one. <clears throat> and that just snaps in there. We need another one of those pieces. It's always when you can find one piece but not the other piece. There's the other one. Whoops, we don't want to drop that. And that just snaps up into there like that. Um, okay, and then we have some more of these pieces. These little curved pieces like we had on the front. You can see they have like a weird little curve on them like that. Uh, now, do they sit on top? Yes, they sit on top of that main piece like that there. That looks correct. And then we have some of those little three pieces. Um, there's one. I don't understand why you couldn't just have another six piece on top of there. But that's the way that they designed it. So I'm not going to argue. I am struggling to find that other three piece though. Now we have these little red pieces. It's nice when you have some red pieces on this. Because they are immediately obvious. Because everything is quite... It's like black, dark greens. Those kind of colours. When you have something red or orange. It's like right in front of you. So this orange thing here. I still have no idea what that thing does. But I guess we'll find out. Um, so these go like this. So we've done the gear stick. We've done the back of the seats. We now need to do the back seats, so not the back of the seats, the actual back bench seat we need to do now. So I'm going to continue on with that. Well I assume there's probably people out there who could put this together without instructions. Those are probably people who work at Lego that put these together as their job. I'm guessing, but I'm sure there are people out there that could probably fathom out how you do this without instructions or they could get very very close you know they could build something that resembles a mini maybe it's not identical to the actual instructions maybe they could improve on it even um, I'm sure there is people out there that sort of free ball um, make Lego models without instructions they'll just buy a pack but I am not that good at Lego you know um, the last time I did a Lego model was quite a few years ago. Um, so there's no way that I'm going to be able to do that. But it's quite nice um, when you haven't done Lego for a while and you sort of come back to doing Lego. That is always really exciting. Um, I'm making it sound a lot more exciting than it actually is. But it is quite nice. You know, it's it's nice to sort of regain a bit of your childhood because um, I used to build Lego models a lot when I was younger mainly just sort of you know making my own little models up I didn't really like buy kits and stuff and build stuff um, but once you haven't done it for a few years and you come back to doing it like I'm doing here it's quite nice actually it is, it is a nice experience it is also another day I should mention so um, this recording has gone over to the second day now of recording. 
Um, last night I was recording, it was New Year's Eve, it is now New Year's Day, the 1st of January. Um, so, yeah, Happy New Year's to everybody who's watching. I'm sure you'll be watching this in probably uh, July by the time I finish with this, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you to everyone who supported us. If you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. If you don't, I also understand, you know. Sometimes you just watch an interesting video and the rest of the content is just not to your liking. Okay, so it is day three now of our Lego mini build. Um, I've just constructed the steering wheel. Let me hold it up to the camera so you can see. I've just made the steering wheel there and the steering column and put it into the vehicle. So let's move on to the next page. We're already up to step 51. Absolutely incredible. Um, we have some more pieces to build up the firewall and then eventually we're going to be building up the dashboard in a minute. I have just flicked through a few pages just to see what is coming up next. So, um, yeah, we're not that far away now actually. We're going to be building up the firewall and then the engine. And then we're going to be building up the grill and finally the bonnet and then the roof. So, I have a good feeling that we can finish it today. So let's just crack on with it. I'm gonna see it. I can't find the piece I need. It's probably right in front of me somewhere. Have I now opened up all the bags? No, that is for the engine bay, so I'm not gonna open that up just yet. But I am not seeing this piece that I need. It is a little four by one flat piece with a smooth top on it in black. There are some 2 by one flat pieces with a smooth top in black um, that I could double up but I will probably need them for something else so I don't really want to do that. But I can't see this piece that I need. I'm looking at all the black pieces in front of me and I'm not seeing it. Usually when I say this it appears. I can then find it but I am not seeing it in front of me. There it is, right there. <laughs> Every time I say it, it appears. Um, that piece goes on there. This is making up basically the dashboard now and the firewall. And there we go. That's kind of our manifold done. Those little shark fin things just coming out there. It's kind of supposed to be like the exhaust. Uh, and now that whole structure can just go into the vehicle. And it just presses in there like that. And there we go. That is supposed to be our engine. Okay, we have really thinned out this uh, parts now. Because we, well, we're pretty much done now. We, we've really got very little left. So... I'm kind of rushing to get it done, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to rush, but I do just want to finish it now, because I'm dying to see what it looks like when it's fully constructed. I'm sure all of you watching at home feel the same. I am doing my best to get it built up now. Uh, what more can we possibly have? <laughs> there is still more. Um, okay. So what do we have here? We have piece like that we have a piece like hmm that there it is thought we'd lost it for a moment we have a piece like that a piece like that a piece like is it like that yep yeah. and a piece like that and then a piece like that there we go, that is the roof fully constructed. We've got our little aerial on there now. So it would actually go like that way. That's the front, that's the back. Underside is like that. And that is now ready to go on to our mini. Completing the build, actually. That's everything we need. We have the roof piece right there. So that should 
just clip onto there like that and that leans perfectly on there like that and there we have it that is actually our classic mini build fully complete you can see in the instruction book if we go on to the next page that's it it's just a parts list we have nothing left all the books are done I will give you a little show around you can see the engine bay opens up there um, you can actually get a lighting kit for this so that all the lights work we've got the little Indy uh, or the little wing mirrors in there we've got all the indicators the number plate on the front and then on the side we have got that beautiful stripe running right down the side and a little badge on there, we've got our wheels which turn around uh, you can take the uh, roof off and look inside, the doors open as well which is cool and then we've got the back there which looks absolutely beautiful I still don't know what this little silver thing is over here um, but then we have the boot that opens and our spare wheel in the boot there it is absolutely fabulous, I have to say, um, if anyone from LEGO is watching, then I have to say thank you so much for uh, coming up with this design. Um, I've actually really enjoyed building it, hopefully you've all enjoyed watching it at home. If you have, then uh, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. And uh, with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.